Welcome to Alive and Thriving. Hi, my name is Jessica. I am your host. I am going to spend the next 20 odd minutes with you talking to you today about soul-led businesses and talking to you today about the missing piece of your business right now. Now, if you are a soul-led entrepreneur, a coach, a healer, a service-based business, and you know that you are on the edge of your next expansion, and I want to point out that could be like different places. Perhaps you're listening and you are relatively new, you are starting out and you are ready to start holding space for clients or launching group programs or launching courses. You're ready to start creating monthly reoccurring revenue. Maybe you are further down the track and you're ready to stop wearing all of the hats on your own in your business and start hiring team or maybe you have team and you're ready to scale back your hours even more whilst not losing your income. Maybe you are ready to go from consistent 5k months or 10k months to 15 to 20 to 25 to I don't know where you are at but my point is that everybody has a gap and everybody has a gain and I want you to take a look at today without like honing in and focusing on because we can get so caught up in getting focused on our gap and feeling like it is too big and feeling like it's something that's really consuming and negative. But I want you to think about your gap. And then I want you to think about if you could close that gap. And I promise there's always going to be another one. Everybody has a gap and everybody always has something to gain. But if you could close that gap, what is that going to mean to you and your business 12 months from right now? Okay, that is what we are going to focus on today through the conversations as I share with you a very special container. You might have heard me speak about it, but today I'm going to chat with you about where I was 12 months ago and really demonstrate just how quickly things can just blow up for your business and I don't mean magically blow up because if you know me you know that I don't promote like quick fixes you know that I have been working towards everything that I'm doing and everything that I'm still doing for years every time I meet my next edge I look internally I decide I realize can I actually hold space for what it is that I'm declaring that I want Or am I not quite energetically a match yet? And if I'm not, then there is work to do. There will be a belief in there. The work never ends. Yesterday, I literally found a belief. I did not believe that something that I wanted to call into existence was possible. I did consciously, but I had this limiting belief. And I was able to narrow it in and I found exactly where it was coming from. And do you know what? It was actually a little money thing and it was around tax. Like I am in launch right now and it was like I am self-sabotaging myself or I'm feeling blocked. I'm feeling limited. Why? Because I didn't want to go over a certain tax bracket Because I actually feel like when you go into next tax brackets, because we've done that multiple times with our other business, we go into met tax brackets, there's this space of gratitude that's like, how amazing that I'm actually getting to create this, that I have brought this into the world. I'm doing something right if I'm coming up here. But there was just this part of me that was like, oh, if you push this, if you get this all in before the 30th of June, which isn't even like logic because people who are coming into the mastermind now they can come in by the 30th of June yes they need to you need to secure your place by 30th of June but some people are choosing payment start dates if you come in on the 1st of July and secure your place by the 30th you can actually choose a payment start date within the first two weeks of July and so I was like I don't even know where this came from But there was this subconscious block. I know where it came from deep-seatedly, but I didn't even realize until I really sat with this. And I was like, what is just this little feeling? I think I said self-sabotaging before, but it wasn't really not self-sabotaging. It was this tiny little bit of heaviness 
in my body, this tiny bit of heaviness. And I felt it in my chest and I felt it in my solar plexus. And I was like, what is this heaviness about? And the heaviness was this narrative that I didn't want to have this influx of money at the end of the financial year because I didn't want to go into another tax bracket. How ridiculous, honestly, is that? And it just does not match the way that I was thinking, the way that I choose to think, the way that I have been thinking. So it was really interesting for me to have that little story pop up and I see where it's come from. And I still hear it from people now in my world that are so reliant on tax returns and that are so focused on not going into the next income bracket and not investing in this. And I hear this and I sit there and I full body disagree with it. I'm like, oh no, it's just a part of what we've got to do. And higher tax brackets are absolute blessings. Didn't realize that I had that little pull inside of me. So everybody, when we are getting to our next edge, as I prepare to hold space for more women within the Transcendence Mastermind, because this is not a new cohort, you are coming in and you are joining a current amazing group. And so as I prepare to hold space, as I am booked out in my one-on-one containers, as I am up-leveling myself and what I hold and the level of things that I am holding and the level of business that I am working with and everything and all of this, it was really interesting to sit and be like, I didn't just ask myself. I, I asked, I did a meditation and I asked for guidance and then I pulled a card and then I sat with what is blocking me. That was my question. What do I need to know to release this feeling of being blocked inside? And it was all around this fear of tax. I don't want to block a launch, block my next amazing masterminders from coming in, block myself. I don't want to be doing that because I'm scared or don't want to be paying the next tax bracket. Okay, that was a little longer rant than I had intended. I didn't even plan on telling you guys that. But I love that I feel like I can speak openly and vulnerably on this podcast and you as my beautiful listeners have created this space for me to do so. So as we move into the rest of today's episode, I know that I mentioned before the mastermind is currently open. And the thing is with the pricing right now is that until the 30th of June, you can actually come in for last year's price, 2023's price. That is a big deal. There is a phenomenal amount of resources already within that space. Now, it is not like a course where you come in and you've got to catch up on each portal and you've got to move through things in a certain way. It's not like that at all. There are so many resources in there to support your mind, your body, your business, your energetics that you can come to as you need them, okay? We have all of our calls. We have everything that is all created. It's all created to meet you where you're at. Let's get into today's episode. And if you are listening to this today and you have this like full body response to come and talk to me about the Transcendence Mastermind, if there is something inside of you that knows that this container is going to so deeply support you on your next expansion will help you to come off the edge of your expansion to help you open up that internal space to be able to hold what it is that you are ready to hold just like I explained before like the next tax bracket amazing (laughs) but if you're not even aware that kind of work is a block for you then you're going to be like me and feel heavy and blocked about things These things are actually worth celebrating. And I wouldn't know that if I didn't put myself in the containers that I have put myself in. I would have still been sitting, having, engaging in the conversations about how shit it is to pay tax and engaging in these conversations of fear. How do we keep our income down? How do we like all of those types of things? I don't actually want to limit myself. And not from a place of greed, from a place of abundance. Like, I would love for this business to be my family's only source of income. How amazing would it be to not actually have to worry about anything financial? That is a goal for me. 
It's not so much like how much you want to earn, but how do you want to feel? I know how I want to feel. And so in the meantime, I choose to invite in those feelings and I choose to teach myself that it is safe to already feel them. And if I had not placed myself in the containers that I have placed myself in, I don't think I'd be thinking and feeling this way. I think it'll be a whole nother story, whole different set of feelings. So as you listen to this episode, I want you to see what happens inside of your body. And if you feel excited, if you feel expansive, if you feel activated, then you need to come and talk to me because the places for this container are limited. And today I am going to help you to reflect on what is possible to, well, to see, to future pace into what is possible for you in 12 months from now, after reflecting on where you were 12 months ago. I am going to share why I created this amazing container about how transformative it is and how it is so completely different to any other mastermind space that you've ever been part of. You're listening to Alive and Thriving with Jessica Reed, the podcast that's all about empowering you to achieve optimal wellness and success through self-care, holistic practices, and raw conversations. Jessica and her expert guests are here to share powerful insights and strategies to help you overcome stress and anxiety, take charge of your life, and thrive in life and in business. Grab a cuppa and let's dive in. When I reflect back on my business 12 months ago, like this is just how far things can come. 12 months ago for me, I was literally in the seed planting mode of the mastermind within my head. I'd started working out some things on paper. I had started brainstorming around what it is that I wanted to do. I didn't have clarity yet. In fact, I'm pretty sure that in June last year, I was still trying to initiate it and I had just finished up a tapping circle launch. And my primary source of income through my business was my one-on-ones. My container was not sold out at that point. I reflect back and I looked at what I did to reflect back. I just actually opened up an old notebook. What was I making notes about 12 months ago? What was on my to-do list 12 months ago? And I was just mind blown. Look back at my VA's tasks from 12 months ago. Oh my God. Who would have thought that from then to now, I could have actually, as I say that, I know I could have. I shouldn't say it like that. Who would have thought I could have exploded my business the way that I have? But as I say that, like everything I've done has been intentional. Everything I've done. From the second year of my business, I put myself into a mastermind that I could not pay for. I had no idea how I was going to pay for it. All I knew was that I wanted to, I just decided to trust that each month something was going to help me. Someone was going to help me. Something was going to come in. But I knew, because that's, I guess that's the thing, when you have that sacred response or when you have a bigger picture, like I knew that I didn't want to just have face-to-face clients. I have such a big vision with the impact of this business and who I want to reach and the, the difference that I want to make. And that mission and that overall movement has shifted, by the way. Like that has become even bigger now that I can think bigger. I had to place myself in a container that could actually support me and hold the bigness of what I wanted to do. And I think maybe the fact that I have a defined ego in human design is a really big part of that. Once I've decided in my body, there's just no other option. Like I have to find a way. But then as I look at what I was trying to create in this mastermind space, like I didn't even know it was going to be a mastermind, I knew that I was ready to bring an energy of women together. And I knew based on the fact that I had been in these containers, in these really high level containers, mastermind and another group coaching container and some amazing mentors, I knew that there is a gap. 
and not because they're not helping in that space. Let me just be clear. They're all amazing. But when I look at what people are experiencing, when I look at the fact that working with me and I was like, what's unique about me? What is this pull? Yes, I wanted to bring women together energetically because my own experience showed me that having that collaboration and having that group of energy, like when I had my first $50,000 launch, I rang someone from my mastermind because I was like, I don't know who talked to you about this. Who would I even share this with in my world? And she gets it. Rosie, if you're listening, like Rosie gets it. And that's the thing. You need to put yourself around or place yourself around people who get it. And not only that, but people who don't only get it, but people who are choosing to elevate themselves because people who are choosing to elevate themselves are naturally going to elevate you as well. And that for me was enough. That was so exciting. I remember in my first year of being in a mastermind, people were like, oh, did you make your money back? In my first year, no, I didn't. But that wasn't my ex. Actually, it was my expectation when I first came in. Boy, was I wrong about that. (laughs) That were just my expectations. In my first year, I created the most phenomenal foundations. I created processes and systems and funnels and things that came that I didn't even know existed. Things I didn't even know I needed in my business. And that was another reason why I chose to place myself in a container because I know, again, that there was a huge gap, a huge gap in my knowledge, a huge gap in I'm the type of person I'm going to go throw myself all in and then circle back and trying to fill in the missing pieces along the way. I was very much doing that in my business. So as I'm sitting last year, round about this time, thinking, okay, what is like my next step? I know I can feel that I'm ready to hold space from multiple energies. I can feel that I'm ready for people who are really wanting like this big expansion and to hold, like to be the facilitator and to be the holder for that, I had to do a lot of work within myself. Again, my business didn't magically explode overnight. My business has grown intentionally because of the work that I've done within myself, because of the investments I've made within myself, because I have chosen to hire I've chosen to spend early on. Like I had to be okay with not making money in the first couple of years. I had to be okay with that. I had to let go of that expectation that I start my business and then I just suddenly make money because that was not my reality. And could I be holding what I'm holding now? No, definitely not. If I didn't have not only those foundations within my business, but the foundations internally as well, which is just so important. So I'm reflecting, as I've said, probably five times now, my story is digressing a little bit today. I was thinking about what is it about me that is so unique that other coaches, other healers, but also other business mentors don't bring to the table. And for me, it was that culmination. It was that integration of being able to work with your subconscious mind directly. I can work with my mentee's subconscious mind when they have to give me permission, when they choose. It was that combined with the skill set and the knowledge around human brain development, particularly in terms of memory and emotion and stress and all of these things that you would take into counselling sessions. So those skills allow me to look at the human behind the business and allow me to hold this space where we can support the woman co-creating with her business, support her through her mindset challenges, through her personal challenges as well, because a part of what we do within the mastermind is you have the opportunity to have a couple of private sessions with me and the ladies use them as they need when they're in a funk, when they've had, they've lost a family member, when something stressful is happening at home. Because being able to look after yourself is an integral part of your business. And then there is the fact that I work with the energetics as well. 
And so we're not only looking at body's energetics and we're looking at business energetics, like we are looking at energetics as a holistic picture. And this integration, like to me, that was really powerful. I was like, this is the key to anybody's success. No matter what stage they're at in their business, being able to work with your personal evolution so that you can be the woman who holds what it is you say you consciously want to hold and energetically meet your business where you want it to be and being able to do that in a way that supports you as a human because life is up and down sometimes and we all know that and challenges can be really hard and sometimes we don't even see that because we're so thick in it and that is something that I can see as a mentor from the outside that there was those elements, the fact that it's personal evolution meets energy management. And then I had to sit in this space for me where I was like, okay, I had to work through my own imposter syndrome around business mentorship. In my private containers, there had been some really natural transitions from working when we had finished with my clients who were mostly women in business when we had finished that healing work that they came in for, we were transitioning really naturally into supporting their business. And I was so lit up by that combination. I was so lit up by that integration. Yet I sat there and I was like, okay, no, imposter syndrome here. Then I remembered, first of all, this is not my first business. Second of all, I have been in and out of entrepreneurship since I was 12 years old. Third of all, we already have a very successful business that I co-founded, that I am director of, that yes, I'm not hands-on, like I'm not on the roof. No, I'm not doing that. But all the strategic aspect of it and all of the bookkeeping aspects and payroll and all of these things, I'm like, I have all of this like legitimate business experience. I'm not stupid. I'm really, actually really clever in this space. And then I looked at the fact that my role when I was working in education was actually managing huge teams, like 48 support staff, multi-million dollar staffing budgets, like sitting at the table with the senior executives, making the decisions alongside them, advising executive principal, advising leadership. Why are you questioning your ability to work with business for? Then let's add on to the fact that from my second year in business, my first investment in terms of my learning was $20,000 the next year. So I'm looking at $60,000 worth of investment in terms of my own education plus my life experiences. And I think I'm pretty good at it. (laughs) And then what I realized was that where I really wanted to be teaching in this space was strengths-led strategy because that is, for me, what the game changer was. Like, I could go and I could learn all of these ways that successful people have done things, but for me to then go and bring in my manifesting generatorness, to bring in my unique skill set, my unique experience, for me to work with my body, with my cycle, with the way that I am designed to live and designed to work and designed to create, that then has led me to this business now where I can keep up leveling what I hold. I'm not increasing the hours that I'm working. In fact, I am working significantly less this year than I was last year. I do not plan on increasing those hours next year. I plan on continuing to keep my one-on-one containers capped, keep my energy protected. I love working one-on-one, but I choose to protect my energy. I don't choose to have 25 clients a week just because the money would be nice. And I have this motto that I've been saying for years now is the less I do, the more I make. And you might like to say that with me. The less I do, the more I make and say it until your brain believes it. In fact, there's a way that you can tap it in. Okay. Take three fingers and tap start on your left and create a statement for your left hand side that is more of a negative focused affirmation so it's still the less I do the more I make 
but it would be like, I don't have to do a lot to make money. So you use a word like don't or not. So I don't have to do a lot to make money. And so you could tap that in starting from the side of your temple bone on the side of your eye and follow that bone around the back of your ear and down and then back up to the top, repeating that statement. I don't have to do a lot to make money. And then I want you to take your hand on the other side and say your positive framed statement. So the less I do, the more I make. And do the same thing. Tap it down and around the back of your ear and come back up. And this is desensitizing, sedating your triple warmer meridian as you are saying. So that's the one that governs your fight or flight response, among other things. And that is teaching it that what you're saying is really safe. So you can program in your new belief. There you go. That's something extra I've shared with you today too. But the thing is that this growth has been in alignment with my strength. And so the core pillars of the mastermind that are infused all through my business, that infuse my one-on-one containers, that infuse the mastermind container is personal ever. So I've brought all of this into this system, which is a holistic approach to business where we blend energetic alignment, personal evolution, and strategic planning. And we prioritize building businesses that resonate with our values and cultivate a sense of safety and abundance for our nervous systems. And the system that I implement in everything that I mentor, everything that I teach, it involves shedding unhelpful patterns and beliefs, uh, tapping into your body's wisdom for decision-making, and integrating alternative therapies for emotional healing and business energy alignment. Because it's about being able to create a business that not only has you thriving financially, like, yes, that is a, a key marker of a good business, but that also is really nourishing for your soul. Like you want to be waking up, not feeling heavy, not feeling drained. Why am I doing this? There are moments in everybody's business where it's like, should I keep going? That's why we come into a container, right? That's why we get help and support. I don't know what your actual financial situation is right now, but something I had to realize early on in my business is that in order for my business to be seen, in order for my business to grow, I had to be prepared to spend money. If you want to grow organically, I know that you can do that, but you've also then got to weigh up the time investment that you are putting into that. And if that's the way that you are going amazing, let's implement an organic growth strategy. But if you don't know how to do that, then a financial investment with someone who can help you is probably going to be really necessary. Otherwise, or you could, of course, invest in courses and things where you go off and you self-implement. Of course, there are great things out there. But for you specifically, listening to this today, like if you are looking for a really strength-led approach where we get to know your business deep, deeply, intimately, where you have myself and all of my experience and you get Annalise Warren, who is a business strategist, who brings all of her and her team's knowledge as well. And then you get our human design consultant in there once a month too, to help you grow your business from that energetic perspective too. You're just going to become unstoppable, honestly, because this mastermind container was curated to help you meet your limitless potential as we blend the personal evolution and the business expansion so that you can surpass your ordinary limitations. I told you when I first joined a mastermind, I couldn't afford it. (laughs) I couldn't. That's not a lie. I couldn't afford it. Didn't know how I was going to pay for it. I also remember sitting there thinking, oh my God, these women are so experienced. They know what a funnel is. I don't know what a funnel is. I get my head on the Googling. What What is this? What is this? How do I do this? Don't worry. I know I use funnel as an example a few times, but don't worry if you don't know what a funnel is. <laughs> we can create something for your business. But my point is I sat there and I looked at these women. I was so anxious to speak on our very first call. And I was like, I'm a fraud. They're going to see right through me. I have no business being here. No business at all. And I just saw myself as less than so many of these ladies on the call and some of them were two years in business like me and some of them were nearly 20 years in business there was such a huge range but what I came to realize particularly as I allowed myself to focus back in on my own lane what I came to realize was that everybody had a gap everyone was there because they had a gap 
and there's a gap between where they currently are now and what they're consciously desiring to create with their business. And again, maybe that's scaling or maybe that's you personally scaling back where your business still grows. It was really like the best decision that I've made in terms of my business growth. And I wonder if you are listening to this and you are someone who knows that you are ready for personal evolution, like you are ready to be able to hold the space for a boundless level, whatever that is for you, a boundless level of income, of clients, of impact, of freedom. Like, well, if that's your goal, let's work towards that. If you are committed to actually doing the inner work. So if you are sitting here and you are blaming everyone in your external circumstances, for where you are right now, maybe you're not quite ready to do the inner work and maybe this container is not quite for you, even though it's going to feel deep and uncomfortable. If you are ready to break through your limiting beliefs and your fears and your self-imposed glass ceilings that have held you back internally, and you'll know if you're ready. Whether you know what they are or not, you're frustrated with them. You're like, no, I'm ready. Why can't I get rid of this? Why can't I stop this? We are going to help you. We are going to help you break through because, again, being able to work with the subconscious and being able to work with the body, our clear and renew calls every single month, so powerful for this. If you value a holistic approach in your business and you are open and coachable, if you are over group coaching programs where you are just another number and your mentors don't know anything about your offer, And you go into the noisy container and you ask for help and then nobody responds to you and you go another week feeling stuck. That doesn't feel good. That does not feel good. And if you know that you highly value the company of energetically aligned women who are there to support each other and lift each other up and help each other grow, they feel like you are going to be a match for this container. If you want to create a consciously, sorry, create a conscious business that is aligned with your values, that feels safe and abundant in your nervous system, that aligns with your authentic self, that allows you to be seen for your authentic self and to expand in both business and beyond, then again, I feel like you're going to be a really good match for this container. I really, truly do. I want to share quickly before we go today a little bit about what actually happens in our call and what happens, like, how you are supported. Because it's one thing for me to be like, oh, this is so great. I would love for you to go over to inspiredlifecollective.com.au forward slash transcendence and have a read of words from people like Sarah, who is a home organizer, who has just expanded her team have a read and then listen to Kobe, who is a healer and a retreat facilitator who talks about her own personal growth and her business growth through this program. Go and listen to Kristen's episode from last week and hear her experience. There is so many other, Heidi, Tanya, like they have all shared the most beautiful words about their growth within this container from their own perspective. I just absolutely love it. So if you want to hear someone's perspective other than mine, (laughs) go back to last week's episode, go back two weeks before that, head over to the page and have a read of some other people's words and exactly what it is they have experienced because the thing is that everybody, again, is meeting themselves where they're at and getting something different out of it. Some of the ladies are going from creating offers that were completely misaligned into ones that actually they have the capacity to hold within their nervous system. Some we've been shifting the way that people have been marketing. We've been shifting, narrowing in on messaging. We have been creating offers from scratch. We have been teaching how to hire, like sharing resources, feedback on opt-in pages, creating Facebook ad campaigns, so many different wins based on where each lady is at. So each month we have three calls and of course I'd love to see your beautiful face at each call, but if you cannot make every single call, that's okay. It's a bit like a buffet. I want you to come up and take what you need in that moment. First call of the month is a clear and renew call. 
And these calls are really important. These calls are essential for people who work with people's energy, who are impacted by the energy of others, who work in the homes of other people, who maybe one of our ladies is a massage uh, therapist, so she's touching people. We are always in other people's energy. And so these calls are a little bit like a energetic healing call every month where we experience different modalities and we've done things like sound healing, EFT, hypnotherapy, energy medicine techniques. We've done lots of different things and we'll continue to do different things to realize where we are currently at, what we are bringing in from the previous month, what we are ready to let go of, what is not ours, so that we can continue to show up to our clients and show up to our business as untriggered as possible feeling regulated and refreshed and ready to go and grow and hold as much space as you can for the people that you are working with. And then we have a monthly hot seat call and I love these calls. These calls are there to get you unstuck. You get both myself and Annalise at these calls and your peers as well. And you come and you either ask a specific question or you talk through where you're at in a short laser focused time, we will help you overcome your block, your self-imposed limitations, whether it be through mindset or through strategy. Again, it really depends on where you are at. And what I love about hot seat calls is that you often get so much out of everybody else's as well. As you sit there and you listen to the other people's, you don't realize how much of what they are experiencing you have actually been experiencing too. Or maybe you're about to move into that phase of your business or you're inspired with an idea. Like they are never not relevant <laughs> to, to most people. And then we have our monthly grow call. And these are calls where we have either something facilitated on strengths-led strategy or personal growth with either myself or other amazing experts to come in and help you build deeper relationships with yourself and support your business growth learn new skills, break through beliefs, elevate your strategy. These calls are really tailored to what does the collective of the group need. We have just introduced for July a bonus for anyone coming in. This is really exciting, a virtual retreat on visibility. So that is really exciting. We also have our Slack channel too. Now, the Slack channel is such a beautiful place because you can come in any time of the day and I'm in there four days a week, answering questions, giving support, giving feedback. You can support each other any time of the day. This is where you collaborate. This is where you get unstuck. This is where you celebrate wins, where you ask for help. And this is such a holistic space that you can come in and ask us anything. And if as a collective, we can't help you, then Annalise also has a team behind her. And I know some pretty amazing people, so we will find a way to get you the answers that you need. So those are the core ways that you are supported. And then, of course, we have an online portal. It's got all the past calls, um, the grow calls, the hot seat calls. You can go through, you can watch, access any of those. You also have other resources in there, like, for example, a self-leadership strategy, uh, different energy techniques just adding more and more things into this portal as they are needed. So that is the key ways that you are supported through the mastermind. But then we actually have a couple of bonuses. One of those is to get two private calls with me. The other bonus that I'd already touched on is the fact that Annalise Warren is in our container. Annalise is a business strategist. She's a marketing agency CEO she is absolutely amazing. She knows everything about everything, I would say. <laughs> she prioritizes well-being as a key value. She is a homeschooling mom of four, an absolute powerhouse, and she's just phenomenal. So you get Annalise in our Slack channel as well as in the hot seat calls. And then once a month on a call and in the um, Slack channel, you get Tegan Parkinson, who is a human design expert. And even if you are listening and your expertise is in human design, that's okay because this is one element of the support, but also it is so good to have another person's lens 
on your chart or on your experiences. And sometimes it is that external support that is enough to move you through. So I just, I don't know why I felt pulled to say that. If you're listening and you you also are an expert in human design, that is one aspect that you're supported, but you are also supported holistically in so many other aspects as well. So those, and the other bonus too, is that you also get access to the Embodied Entrepreneur Program, which is the ultimate internal upgrade for anybody who wants to become the embodied identity of a successful entrepreneur, of their version of a successful entrepreneur. So that is what you are currently getting in the mastermind. Like all of that is phenomenal. All of that is if you were to be engaging with a regular healer, a mindset coach, a business strategist, a human design monthly session, if you were to just be engaging in those four things, you would be spending over $20,000 a year alone, minimum, minimum, because I'm pretty sure the strategist and mindset coach are going to be far more expensive than what I have just factored into all of that. And so at the moment, you can actually join the mastermind. And again, this is 2023 pricing. You can actually come into this container with us in a few different ways and you just need to have a conversation with me to talk about what that might look like for you, whether you pay a deposit, whether you come in straight away. But you actually get to come into this container for $7,200 for the whole year. And you can choose to pay that over 12 months, 18 months or in full. It's just that's the price and you can break it up if if that's easier for you. So I want you to think about, as I have spoken today, and I hope actually you haven't really shared much about the story behind the mastermind before, so it was really nice to talk about that. It was really actually amazing to reflect back and see how this container has evolved and how, in terms of my office suite, it's evolved, but also like how much intention came into creating this container. This is a very special space. It is going to move you forward and nurture you all at the same time. Like you can't not grow if you come into this container. (laughs) You just can't. So I want you to think about how you are feeling and I want you to spend a moment reflecting on your last 12 months in business. And maybe you've had support through that time and maybe you haven't. I want you just to go back 12 months ago. Where were you in your business at the end of June 2023? What was your financial year profit looking like? How many clients were you holding space for? How many offers were you holding? Did you know what you were doing within your strategy? Were you posting on Instagram hoping people are going to book with you? Like what has that year looked like? Have you implemented somebody's advice and it just hasn't quite worked out for you? Or maybe it has and you are in a great place and you're not looking to troubleshoot, but you're just looking to expand. Because whatever is possible in that last 12 months, with the combination of personal evolution, energy management and strengths-led strategy, I challenge you to believe and try and visualize and try and get really excited about what is now possible for you 12 months later with that kind of holistic support in your business. And if this excites you, if this is something that you feel really lit up by, you feel expansive, you feel like you need to know more, or you're just really curious and maybe you feel a bit nervous at the same time, that is fine too. But we need to chat because it's almost the 30th of June. And again, if you're listening to this episode beyond the 30th of June, then just come say hi and I will let you know if we have an opening in the mastermind or I will let you know whether or not there's a wait list. I'll just tell you if you come and ask. (laughs) But for now, what I want you to do is either go, if you just know, if you've been looking at this for a little while, go and pay your deposit and secure your seat or go into the show notes go to my calendar and book a 20-minute phone call and we'll just have a chat and you can make an informed decision based on that conversation. 
as to whether or not this is the right space for you or not both that you are looking for or whatever version of that is going to show up. And I say that because I think about when I joined the my mastermind at first, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to get this strategy and then I'll just suddenly like skyrocket to this level of income and this amount of clients and oh my God, yes, I've had phenomenal growth, but I needed a reality check. Boy, did I need a reality check. So as you don't know what kind of growth is possible until you come into a container like this, thank you for allowing me to share this special space with you. And I just cannot wait to meet the beautiful faces. I've been connecting through meditation. So I cannot wait to meet the beautiful faces who are coming in to this space. And again, 2023 pricing ends on the 30th of June. You need to have your application in or your seat held by that date to lock in that price and save yourself $2,700 by doing that. I feel so good talking about that container. I'm so happy that I decided that this was the topic today. Have the most amazing day and I will see you all next week. We have a special guest coming in next week. She is going to share a content strategy. Simple, aligned, soul-led content strategy. So you're not going to want to miss that one. Wow, what a journey it's been today. We are so grateful for each and every one of you who tuned in to Alive and Thriving. If you enjoyed this episode and want to help us keep growing, please consider subscribing and leaving a review on your favourite platform. It's a simple but powerful way to support a small business like ours to continue to make an impact.